stop what you're doing. I kid you not, stop what you're doing. I promise. This video is going to be crazy. This video is going to be nuts. This video is going to be insane. Nintendo. Nintendo is doing something. I, I, I. How do I, how do I even talk about this? How do I begin this video? I, I guess we begin it by saying that, hey, I'm Nintendo Prime. I hope you enjoy and subscribe. Because what Nintendo is doing right now is, if this isn't a rumor. This isn't a, a leak. You can argue it's speculative, but there's history behind it. What are we talking about? Nintendo has privatized the Switch OLED reveal trailer. Privatize it. You can still find the trailer. There's re-uploads of it online. But Nintendo themselves have privatized the Switch OLED trailer. And you might go, that's weird. But whatever. Nintendo privatizes trailers, random videos, all the time. Except the Switch OLED trailer being privatized isn't as random as you think. Days before the Switch OLED was unveiled last year, the Switch light reveal trailer went private. Why? Why would that trailer go private just to unveil a new one? Why would Switch OLED go private just to unveil another new Switch? There's actually some YouTube algorithmic magic in this, and Nintendo isn't the only company that plays this game. Apple has infamously, I guess I, I guess it's not really infamous, they have a reason for it, has taken out trailers for prior iPhone models days before revealing a new iPhone model. Why? Why have they done this? Well, because when people are looking up Nintendo Switch OLED or Nintendo Switch, period, any sort of Nintendo Switch stuff, they want to make sure the new revealed product is the first search term. And Nintendo's YouTube channel, just like Apple's YouTube channel, has a lot of clout with the top searches for their products. Obviously, it's their products, and they have millions and millions of followers. So the logic is, playing the YouTube algorithm game works, where if you're about to like announce a new product in a line of products you already have, you actually want to privatize your officially uploaded trailer of the prior product, so the new product trailer appears in front of it in the search engine on YouTube. Apple has played this game. Samsung has played this game. Nintendo has already played this game. In fact, they played it twice. While they didn't re permanently remove the reveal trailer for the Nintendo Switch, they did temporarily remove it off of YouTube right before the revealing of the Switch Lite. They did seemingly permanently removed the Switch Lite reveal trailer from their YouTube channel before Switch OLED came out. It's still not back up today. And now the Switch OLED reveal trailer is gone. Yeah, okay. I said, you could find it, but it's no longer on Nintendo's channel. It's gone private. Folks, we've been hearing a lot of smoke. We've been hearing a lot of rumors. We've been hearing a lot of speculation around a brand new Nintendo Switch system. We have. But this is the first action from Nintendo that we can look at the trackable history of them doing this and go, holy shit. Nintendo always does this. Now, you don't have to believe me. I mean, you can go try to find the trailer yourself. It's not there. It's not there. Uh, but we can just kind of glance at Fami boards if, if you just want some backup to what I'm saying. So I don't sound so crazy because other people are noticing this as well. So here's Fami boards. Uh, and this person ma made, made this thread earlier today. I went back to look at the trailers for fun and I couldn't find them on Nintendo's main page. Uh, by the way, Nintendo uh, of US and Nintendo of Japan. Nintendo UK still has it up. So it says Nintendo UK still has the OLED trailer up, but it does not have the light one up, which was removed last year before the OLED reveal. And the American and Japanese YouTube have it private. So it also means, obviously, the UK could just 
you know, be priving in it a little bit later. Uh, the original Nintendo Switch announcement video is still up, however. They, as I said, they temporarily took that down before light, but they brought it back. You know, there, there's something historic about, about that trailer that maybe doesn't impact things that much. Uh, and then, hmm, the light announcement went private before the OLED reveal. OLED going private is new. And again, you'll go out, out this thread, people wondering, does this mean something? Does this not mean anything? And people noting, obviously, that there is a trackable history of other companies doing this on youtube before announcing new products and nintendo obviously is part of that trackable history and again and again this is because that you got to play the youtube algorithm game to get your latest product to the top of all the results this is obviously speculation right now but it's speculation based on actions taken by nintendo that in the past have proven to be leading to the revealing of brand new hardware so folks i know last year before e3 we had nate drake telling us hey the reveal of the switch new switch pro whatever they're calling it 4k switch is imminent here's what i'm going to tell you right now if we are to believe the trackable history of nintendo if we are to believe what other companies have also done in this very same situation the switch pro the Switch 4K, the new Nintendo Switch, whatever the hell, Switch 2, whatever the hell Nintendo's calling this, is about to be revealed probably within the next week. If not this week, next week. Because that's what history says. Now, if these trailers pop back up later this week, cool. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll note it. You know, it. It feels like it'd be a weird mistake to take them down. After all, the Switch Lite reveal trailers are no longer online. Oh, and after all, Switch OLEDs down in Japan and US. And those are two entirely different YouTube channels. Just saying. It certainly seems like something's cooking at the big end. I actually want to know your guys' thoughts on this. Because uh, I can't believe we're, we're talking about this right now. I can't believe as I sit here. I was just chilling. I was about to eat some dinner. I was getting ready uh, for tonight's big birthday stream. It's my birthday. We were going to go live at 8 p.m. Central. We're still going to go live. We're obviously going to talk about this. I, I, I am stunned at the moment. And hopefully, I'm stunned in a good way. Because whenever this product is revealed, whenever this thing, the, the tra they took the trailer down for this, whenever the new one's unveiled, I, I hope it blows my mind. It could just be a Switch Lite OLED, folks. They could be replacing the Switch Lite with an OLED model, right? That could be a thing. It might not be what we want it to be. We need to prepare ourselves for all possibilities. All possibilities. But notably, they took down the Switch OLED trailer. I don't know, folks. Things are getting awfully suspicious over at the big Nintendo, the big N, the big cheese, the head honchos. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below, because I am perplexed, to say the least.